All right, guys. Today we're talking about springtime cold water fishing. What I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to want to be doing, what I'm going to want to be seeing. Uh, for the most part, I mean, obviously, jerk baits are going to be number one. Jerk baits are probably the best. Some of my favorite jerk baits, Rapala. Just the straight regular jerk bait. It's got that beautiful shine to it and that murky water. Give it that nice shine. And then the bass eat it up. You want the suspended, or any kind of actually jerk bait, you want suspended because uh, it's going to sit there and float. Or it's not going to float. It's just going to sit there rather. Why would it float if it's suspending? Uh, so it's going to sit there like, just like this. And that's going to be key for your slower retrieves, your slower you know, jerks, your slower yanks, your slower danks and cranks and bangs and spangs, you know. Whatever you do to catch those fish, just slower. So say you crank it, you yank it, all right, and you're letting it sit there, and it's just gonna instead of floating up or anything, you can leave it there longer. Say 20, 30 seconds, it's just gonna sit there. Then you spank it, then you dank it, and then you yank it, and let it sit there. 20, 30 seconds in between each crank, in between each yank. <laughs> Key is slow. Slow, slow, slow. Another good one, Rapala, the X Rat. This one's pretty uh, well deep for me. It's about five feet. And uh, that's actually going to be real good. For the colder water, they're going to be a little deeper. And these are going to get down in there. It's got a beautiful rattle to it. And uh, that's definitely a big old bass catch. It's got this X-Rap hook. A little bit bigger. Gets that, that extra snag on there. That extra hook set when you're yamming on them. Ripping them lips with the big old hooks. That's what we want to do. But again, suspended. That's the clutch thing. is is, is going to be sitting there in the middle of the water. Dangling there, bass will come up, sniff it, smells longer, smells the longer in the air. Wham! I let it, let it just sit there. I'm telling you, 20, 30 seconds in the colder water is going to be big. Um, the the Rapala Joinids are one of my favorites. The J9s are great to cover water. I mean, they're not so much. I'd say early spring. You probably try them out, but they're just shallow. Good uh, good swim, swimming action on it. The other big one I like to use in the spring, cold water, jigs. Jigs are going to be big. Okay, your football jigs, your swim jigs are pretty big. And the uh, cold water, bass love them. They smell them. There's a lunker in the air. If you get that scent of just big bass, you know what I'm talking about, that lunker scent that just, there's something big sitting in here. Try a jig. This right here has a uh, little... Uh, Chat on it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on there, but it's got that nice action on that little tail whip. Bass like it. Another swim jig here. Got the craw that on. KVD's got a little rattlet on it. Got the little rattler. Rattler, rattler. Get a little more attention to it. It's got the red hook, stands out a little bit more. Uh, spinner baits. You gotta work everything slow. The jigs, you're not even gonna wanna pop them. No pops, twitches, lops, bops, you know what I'm saying? You don't want those. You're probably just going to want to drag it. Throw it out. The crow dad, the swim jigs, I mean, obviously, real slow, real slow, but the football finesse type jigs, you want a crow dad on the back, something resembling a crow dad. If that hits your fancy. And, and just work it slow. Just work it real slow. I mean, you want to just drag it across the bottom. Let it sit there. Let it sit there. Drag it across the bottom. Bank, give it a little dunk, you know. Pop it up every now and then. But you, you don't want to, you don't want too much action on it, I'd say. Just because it's that cold weather, bass aren't going to be moving. They're not going to want those faster baits. Anything swimming by, it's not going to bother to really eat it. But if it's tickling their fancy, you know, tickling, fondling their, fondling their good spot, if you will. Then they're going to want it. And that's what you want to do. You want to get up in there and you want to fondle that bass. You want to tickle it good. You want to tickle it right. Another big one, jigs, jerk baits, key, stick baits, plastic, soft plastics. I think stick baits are some of the biggest in the spring, just because it's got that stick. It's not too much action. You don't want to be throwing around this free, this brush hog here with all the flipper floppers on it. You don't really want all that action in the early spring. The bass is going to see that and go, that's not natural. That's some guy playing with his little plastics up there. Uh, you're not going to want to do it. 
don't try it. I mean, the paddle tails, I just got these actually. I'm kind of excited to use them. Little paddle tails. That might be too much. But again, the shaky head here. The shaky head on the stick baits. It might get the baits down, but I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to be using the weightless. I like the weightless Texas rig, 4 inch. This is a Zoom a Yum Dinger. Wacky rig, 4 inches. Find the bass. Find the bass. Move up a little. I'll go to a 5 inch, 5 and 3 quarter inch, or 5 and 3 eighths inch. Texas rigged, wacky rigged, whatever they want. It's whatever the bass want. They tell you what they want, you gotta just give it to them. It's like a, you know, it's like a girlfriend or a woman, you know, you just, it's gonna have to go with it. And that's what you do with a bass. This one's pretty cool here. It's stick bait from Havoc. What it is, it's a, it kind of looks like a, not a centipede because there's not enough legs, but it looks like a little grub. It's a stick bait, which I liked, but it had these little tentacles. So that tiny bit of action, that little extra flutter, but not too much flutter. I think this is going to be a real good bait. Just picked it up. I haven't used it yet. But another cool thing about it is it's got this dual infused backside here. So when you're working it, instead of falling down, you know, you jerk, jerk, psh, it falls down like that, you jerk it. It's going to fall backwards because of that extra weight. So it's going to give that different appearance, that extra, that extra appearance the fish are going to want. You know, it's going to tickle their fancies. It's going gonna, it's gonna to tickle their noses and on the backdrop, if they are trying to bite, it's going to get this deeper hook set. So it's better hook sets to ensure that catch. Uh, sluggos, definitely. Definitely good. Sluggos are very good, good uh, plastic I've been using for quite a while now, actually. Can't get over them. They are just, they just put bass in the, in the boat, bass on land, wherever you're fishing from, the bass are going to be eating it up. Here, where you're fishing there, where you're fishing here, sluggo, soup it right up. Uh, Senkos, obviously, Senkos, dingers, straight stick baits, uh, weightless, everything weightless, except crawdads. Jigs, obviously, I wouldn't go weightless unless, unless you're thinking about it. I got a little one right here just in case the fish aren't biting it. If I want to slow it down, you know, have that fall a little slower. Little Texas rig weightless jig here. But uh, this is a Havoc. Bitsy bug or something like that, but it looks like a crawdad. It's got that crawdad resemblance, and it's just a good looking bait. I'll put a weight on this. This is a quarter ounce uh, Texas rig hook, Gamagatsu. It's got it right on there. Uh, it, it, I like the weight on it because it gets it down to the bottom, and crawdads you're going to want to drag. You're going to want to drag the crawdads. You're not really going to want to bop them that much, so that weight keeps it on the ground. It keeps it dragging over the cover. It just makes it look realistic. Color-wise, I mean, match the colors, crankbaits and stuff like that. I'll get to them soon. Uh, jerk baits, you want that flash. You want the shine. Crankbaits, maybe a little chartreuse in it. Uh, maybe in the jigs, but soft plastic-wise, I'm looking at pumpkin, green pumpkin. Um, nothing, nothing too bright. I mean, I got this cool. It's like a smoke purple on this one. It's pretty cool, but uh, just I feel darker because they're going to be coming up out of that dark water. Everything's going to be dark from the the cold, everything's going to be slow, so dark it's slow, that's how you want it, dark it's slow, that's how they want it, not me, uh, crankbaits, crankbaits are a big one, here, got this one, Bass Pro Shops, two bucks, on sale, little chartreuse, black top, it's got that nice fade in it, beautiful action, square bills are key for that cold water, bouncing off structures, not getting caught up, got baby bass, got a bunch of colors here, the Spro, big one it's just the action in them but that's about it i mean you're gonna want your crank baits your jerk baits stick baits soft plastics uh anything like that is gonna be is gonna be probably the best for this springtime and hopefully soon it's 40 yesterday it's uh 16 degrees today so i mean it's gonna be a month or so before i can get out hopefully i can get uh get out pretty soon trout season's coming up so that's gonna be fun and uh i'll see you guys around for sure